guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to Cooking from the Pantry episodes. Basically where we are cooking all the recipes are just from the pantry items alone and no fresh ingredients. So in today's video we are making a pate. I know it's been long awaited by many of you because I've been mentioning this in some of my videos, but we are going to make a pate from a pork luncheon meat. In this instance I use the as the one just essential ones. This is a little one because um, oh basically I don't need so much of the pate but my husband will take it to work so it's 200 grams and it was currently priced at £1.20 so we literally have one of those lovely little things and it actually looks doesn't look that bad okay whether you want to see that here it slices nicely anyway next thing we're going to have is the sliced mushrooms I use three quarters of the can you can use dehydrated mushroom absolutely no problem at all but you have to adjust the little salt and pepper seasoning because these mushrooms here guys they are bland 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 they're literally just waiting for you to add on whatever seasoning you want to put in them okay I've got a nice big dollop of salt and pepper I've got some garlic I've got about a teaspoon of garlic and this is again where it's important guys to have like dry garlic we're talking about flakes we're talking about um granules and this is between the granule, granules and the powder so it's very fine so it dissolves really really easily and I have some rehydrated bay leaf which is been dehydrated in my dehydrator and then I put some hot water and let it sit there for a couple of hours and then we have some basically any type of fat you can ideally of course you can use butter I'm using the um, basic that from I think that was from Lidl anything works um, whatever you prefer to use okay so I'm as the machine I'm using one of those old t file things it's like a blender type thing um, it's got multiples of blades so basically blitz everything nicely um, you can use whatever you have providing it's actually able to mince and grind the stuff together so you might have think that oh my god well, I haven't thought of that before because actually the taste is actually really really nice so first thing I'm gonna do okay bay leaf I'm gonna wash this and just rip it apart a little bit and put it in the bottom it's still quite tough anyway but we're going to add it on first I'm going to avoid the um, avoid the little stem okay and then I'm going to add on some mushrooms sorry I haven't put on the big camera on I just thought it wasn't really point it's nothing really there that's hard I'm going to put that aside I'm going to add on the garlic now because the mushrooms are still quite wet and by the time we blitz it, it's going to help it to um, dissolve the garlic. And we're going to add on salt and pepper. Okay. Put my little lid on. And in this instance, guys, we are making it, you can make it as coarse or as fine as you like. I like my pate quite slurping. Considering the ingredients, it's better for it to be really sort of fine rather than grainy. But with the mushrooms, we're going to blitz them halfway. Have a little bit of chunks because we're then going to add on that okay so basically that becomes whether you can see that or not just chopped mushrooms oh and the garlic I'm gonna add on our luncheon meat just chuck it in there it's so simple so simple but so effective yes you can buy a pate cheap guys but we're talking the times maybe we knew not and there was actually last Christmas I'm pretty sure because I'm partial to pate but around December time we weren't able to get again where we live couldn't get pate don't know why anyway lid on and then we blitz give it a shake because the chunks are big almost there so it kind of really chopped itself nicely so what I'm gonna do now is gonna add on the butter sorry not butter but a spread of any kind sorry I'm gonna go for the two spoons get out okay sorry and now we blitz, blitz, blitz until it's done. Okay. 
I've got the reverse function, you may blitz one way and blitz the other, you seem to take the stuff from the top. Okay. Just give it a mix not once in a while in case you've got some mushrooms or something stuck in there. That looks pretty good. Mm. One more time. And that should do. There we are, guys. It basically, if I take this plate out, <clears throat> it's a dirty, it's a messy job getting this out because obviously there's a lot of blades in there. But if I put this on a plate for you, it basically becomes, becomes a pate. It's not, of course, guys, it's not like the things you buy. Of course not. But if you look at where the stuff has come from, and I guarantee you, you would love this like in a sandwich or in a toast. So, Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Very simple, but very effective. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.